Well, I might be about to void the warranty, but I'm going to do this anyway. I've loosened this strap. I've loosened the strap on the front of the boat. I've got a chain across on the front of my plow, and I got the boat trailer chained to my uh, trailer hitch. By the way, somebody noticed this hitch the other day. It is a pintle hook, but it also hooks down over a two-inch ball, so it's a pretty neat little uh, safety rig there. Anyway, my goal is just to drag the boat back a little, balance the weight so that there's not so much weight on that tongue. That trailer needs a good bit of work, and uh, I ain't scared of it. I ain't scared of doing the work. But first thing I'm gonna do is just drag it back a little bit, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, then that did the trick. I can uh, pick the tongue up with one hand now. After my dad retired from working in a factory, he uh, restored boats. He had a place up on a lake. He used to buy old boats. See, I can pick that up with one hand now. He used to buy old boats and swap the motors and trailers around. And uh, he did upholstery work, so. He'd save all the best parts for his own boat, put the rest of them on a boat, get it running and sell it, and buy another one. But uh, <clears throat> this little gizmo right here just needs to move back and that little roller under there can be adjusted. What I'll do for now, I'm not gonna get involved in rebuilding the trailer. I'm just gonna take a piece of rope and tie the bolt down by that uh, hook right there on the front and tie it right to that front end. But now I can pick that tongue up and hook it to the Jeep and move it around there. And then when I get it sitting around there, I can tip it up and I believe the weight of the motor will uh, basically make it stand on its own. So. I'll uh, get me a piece of rope, tie that tongue down, disconnect it from the truck there, hook it to the Jeep, and then we'll drag it around the house.